freed 22 students and lecturers of the Federal University Gusso marching into the meeting room of the National Security Advisor in Abuja as the security agency prepares to hand over the students to the Zamfara state government. One of the students, Hafsat Ibrahim Shema, while speaking on behalf of others, narrates how they spent about 207 days in captivity while commending the federal government for coming to their rescue. I feel highly honored on this wonderful opportunity given to me to thank the almighty Allah and thank the national security advisor and the government at large for their job for the safe release having been in captivity for over 207 days. I said kudos to all of you. An elected national security advisor, Nuhu Ribadu, while handling the students and lecturers, commended the collaborative efforts of security agencies, saying that over 1,000 Nigerians have been freed from the hands of violent groups since the inception of President Bola Tinubu's administration last year. This is yet again a success story in our efforts to free all those being unlawfully held in captivity. We have so far released over a thousand, over a thousand of such victims without noise. NSA Ribado, while talking tough, also wants violent groups and other criminals to stay clear from abducting or attacking Nigerians as the federal government is strengthening law enforcement and other security agencies to prevent future abductions, especially within vulnerable communities. The coordinator of the National Counter-Terrorism Center, Major General Adamu Laka, retired, who coordinated the rescue operation, also speaks on it. Search and rescue was conducted by a combined team of law enforcement agencies, and the adoptees were subsequently rescued. Going forward, we are strengthening law enforcement and security measures to prevent these abductions and strengthen physical security across vulnerable communities. This work is done by our security forces, our soldiers, our armed forces, our police, our intelligence agencies. A representative of the Zamfara government, Ibrahim Anka, who received the freed victims, commended the efforts of the NSA in coordinating the military and security operations that ensured the safe rescue of the victims. Congratulations to all of you and also to give an accolade to the National Security Advisor and the entire security agencies that have been working relentlessly day and night, risking their lives, losing their lives and their, their ones trying to rescue everyone. Security operatives say the victims were freed near Kuchin Duse, a village in Safi local government area of Zamfara by government forces. They were then evacuated to Abuja for debriefing and medical checkups before they are reunited with their families. They were abducted in September last year at their off campus hostel in Sabungida, a community adjacent to the university campus in the Zamfara state capital, Guso.